Braden Martin with Dylan from the DJI. We're here at EVS Expo, and I have some questions for Dylan, who works at DJI. Number one question is, what happens to the Phantom Quad Toppers during a flyaway? Normally a flyaway is uh, about 90% user error. Um, a lot of times what people do is they don't set their home location before they go ahead and fly. And uh, I do three things before I fly. Always, 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 always. First, compass calibration. Uh, it's really important. Your drone's not going to fly the same way every time. So you need to do the compass calibration. Secondly, uh, I wait for GPS lock. Full GPS lock before I even start flying. And then third, before I start flying, I set the home location. One, two, three, four, five. Because a lot of times what happens is when people go up and they lose battery signal, they use a lose battery or they lose signal, things like that, and it goes into recovery mode, they never set their home location. So it's set up to the default location, wherever it may be, and it starts flying away. A lot of people don't know what these toggle buttons do on the remote control. Uh -huh. Uh, well, this top one on the top right uh, is in your flying mode. So your top is GPS. Uh, that's when you're in full GPS mode. Um, middle is going to be attitude mode. And that's basically your manual mode. And then all the way down is your home. Attitude, yeah. Attitude mode. And then, then the bottom is your home. So, oh, is attitude? Oh, okay. Bottom's attitude. Yeah. Bottom's also attitude. But you can select and you can change these in the app. Uh, and then right over here, actually, that's the one I've never even just toggled. I just put them all up all the time. So. Where can people go online to find this information? On our DJI website. You can look at the manual on our website. You can also find it in the manual in your box. People always ask me, they say, how far away can this fly? And my answer to them is, as far as I can see it. That's very true. Uh, they can go very far in optimal conditions. Uh, they can go upwards of about 1,200 feet. And people don't know what 1,200 feet is. What is 1,200 feet? In America, we go by football yard, football fields. Yes. So that's about 400. So you got a lot of space, but not a whole bunch. I, like you said, it's about as far as you can see. If I, if, if I can't see my drone anymore, I'm a little too far away. That's the number one rule. <laughs> if you cannot see your drone, that's as far as you should fly it. Um, FAA uh, says you can't use remote controlled helicopters no, no, no. for commercial use. However, the court has overruled that uh, a few months ago. So which ruling is more important, the FAA ruling or the uh, Supreme Court ruling? No comment. <laughs> the Supreme Court. No comment. The Supreme Court trumps the FAA. Yeah. One last question, which we didn't answer. What happens to the quad poppers when they do flyaways? Where they, do they go? They go to a magical universe. <laughs> That's where they go. There is a huge magical universe uh, inhabited by only DJ quad poppers. Where they get a roam free. <laughs> Alright, I'm Ray Barney here with DJI. Dylan. And Dylan, I think I said Devin. And we're here at PBS Expo 2014. See you later.